Okay, hello everybody, welcome. Um, I'm going to take you through a quick walkthrough on how to register for the fair. So um, you're going to go here to this website, it's in the link in the description below. Uh, make sure that it says Adams County or ADCO. We are not part of 4-H so you just skip that part and you want to come down here to Fair Entry Exhibitor Staff Sign-In. Now if you do not have an account you can come down here and create an account. Uh, and that's pretty straightforward. You have to have your username, your password, your email address and then you verify. But I already have mine so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And I'm going to register an exhibitor and then I'm going to register as individual. I'm going to go ahead and do a new one. I have my husband listed here, but I want to show you how to create an exhibitor from scratch. So I'm going to do me this year. Um, there we go. So type in your date of birth. Um, County is Adams. It says optional, but I put that in anyway. Grade is optional. I'm not in school. So, not for a long time. So, phone number. Because I'm going to delete mine and, and register under my husband's name. Email address. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and delete me. Carrier, my phone carrier is not on here. If it's not on here, you, I think there's a none option. Um, we're with Peer Talk. Peer Talk isn't listed. All right. Um, we're just going to copy over. And now uh, you would answer questions. So answer questions. So this just basically confirms everything. Double check it. You can click on the little edit button here if you see something that you don't like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and register Hal now. He's already. I've already filled him in before so I wanted to show you how to do that you have to go all the way now you'll get to here step four questions you're not done you haven't registered all you've done is create a profile for you that's all you've done so you see up at the top here there's three different things you have exhibitors entries and payment exhibitors is green that's what you've done double check your work now continue to entries all right, I'm going to select um, Hal just because uh, I'm going to have him enter Adams County Fair. Um, now there's all of these different exhibits, so you kind of have to go down here to where it says Open Class. Open Class um, Honey. That's the one that you want if you're with the Honey Group. You Obviously, you can sign up for all of these if you really want to. So honey, liquid honey, select. They don't do uh, cut comb or chunk honey, so that's your only choice. Okay, you are required to submit an eight ounce jar because that is in the rule book. Now I read the online rule book forwards, backwards, upside down, and backwards. I could not find honey listed in there. So I contacted the superintendent and he basically told me what the rules are. Uh, make sure the jar is adequately filled, that it is clean on the outside and not sticky, that it is eight ounces in a plain unmarked glass jar. Now for those of you that are going to be uh, bringing in your jars, you are definitely going to want to have a post-it note or something, uh, you know, you use the, the canning jars with the rings and the lids. You're going to want to put your name on there somehow so the judges or the, the person who's handling the honey will know who you are. Uh, if you bring your, jar, your honey to the Eastern Colorado Beekeepers Association, 
meeting in July, and you hand me a jar of honey without a name, I guarantee that by the time I get home, if there's two jars of honey, I'm not going to know which one is yours. So put a post-it note or something on it, but don't put a permanent label. Uh, you tie a string around it with a tag and your name on it. That would be okay, too. It can be taken off. Just something so when I drop them off to Jennifer or when they go up to Brighton that we know which jar is your entry. Okay, you have amber, dark, and light. Now, in the past, they have the judges have rearranged entries based on their field towards your honey. They line them up on the counter and they say, okay, these are obviously light, these are obviously amber, these are obviously dark. This person entered the light category, but it falls into the amber category. They switch it for you. The only problem is, is that if you have two jars of honey and both of them are amber, one will be uh, disqualified. I don't know if they take the time to judge and then determine which one is disqualified, but they disqualify one. So if you have a light and an amber and they both end up being amber, probably the light one will be DQ'd and they will judge your amber honey. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to say mine is amber because most of the honey that I've been getting out of the hives are amber. Another tip for honey, don't worry if you haven't harvested this year, it's really hard to harvest early in the year. If you have honey left over from last year, as long as you harvested after the fair, so after the first week of August, it can go into the fair this year. So I date all my jars when I label them and I know what I harvested last year. And so that's what I'm going to be entering the fair this year. So you don't have to go out and harvest stuff. Uh, just make sure that you save an 8 ounce jar and label it Adams County Fair and you stick it in a closet. When fair time comes around, pull it out. Okay, you can just double check open class liquid and amber colored 8 ounces. Everything is good to go. So we hit continue. All right. Now my inner entry number is 279. Um, I can go back to entries. Looks like that's pretty much my only choice is to go back to entries. Okay, now at this point I can add an entry. I could enter one for me. It can be crocheting, it can be pie, whatever you want to do. Just add more entries. When you're done and you're sure that this is all you're going to do and you're not going to do anything else, you go over here to continue to payment. All right, now this is a summary. Hal is zero, I'm zero. They aren't charging for entries, so we're going to click continue. Just because you see zero doesn't mean you're done. If there's a continue button here, you have to click it. A payment is not necessary, but you have to click continue again. Now see, we're on page three. Always watch your circles, watch your green lines, everything. Payment is not necessary, but after you submit, you need to look at this. You need to agree to the terms. You need to just read through all of this. I have read them already. They're, they don't change much from year to year. I agree, and after you've read everything, so records are going to be locked awaiting editing manager approval. That just means if you want to change, you need to get a hold of somebody at the Adams County Fair and say, I made a mistake, I registered wrong, and they will f help you fix it. Now you click Submit. You have to click Submit. If you do not, you are not registered. Thanks! Thank you for participating in the 2024 Adams County Fair. Now you're done. You have registered, you have paid, you have entered, you've done everything that you're supposed to do, and you can sign out, and you're just, now you're done. So I hope this tutorial was useful, and uh, good luck at the fair. We'll see you there.